that was warp speed then brake just so you know uh, basically what happened is this got taken off and the grub screw so the grub screw the grub screw completely dissolved inside and that was a complete mission to get off so much so that that is now knackered I got my son to hit it about 50 times with a hammer to get it off and so that it didn't work anyway but now so now this is running the 28 tooth on the drive shaft and sorry 28 tooth on the drive shaft and 18 tooth on the bike motor one thing I'm very happy about is you'll notice there's no wobble now uh, virtually no wobble anyway it was it was really becoming a problem before and I think it was just due to the extra torque involved and the extra size of the gears so yeah the 37 tooth experiment is over not to be repeated again in the future may run uh, perhaps a 32 tooth She's a beauty when she gets going, my friends. Let's just go see what the meter's saying. So it's only made 400 watts overnight running in this mode, which isn't great. That's the wind's supposed to be about 14 miles an hour at the moment. See if we get a gust. There's a gust straight on the brake. So. That's the inverter running with just like a 50 watt load. So it'll stop the brake coming on. And it should be windy enough to work like that, but you'll see the power does drain out the batteries pretty quickly. Yeah, that's the update for now, and I'll keep you posted how it goes. Uh, if, it, if it gets a bit windier, which it's supposed to, then I'll do a live stream. Thank you very much.